Picture this, the glow of a flickering black and white screen, a time when movies were an escape, a window into another world. And there, amidst the shadows and light, stood Bette Davis, an indomitable presence etched in our memories. Whether you first encountered her on a lazy Sunday afternoon or stumbled upon her films late at night, there's a certain magic in the way she commanded the screen. Maybe it was her piercing eyes or that unmistakable voice, a voice that could be both tender and sharp as a blade. She wasn't just an actress, she was a force, a trailblazer who challenged conventions and breathed life into characters that lingered in our minds long after the credits rolled. From her breakthrough roles to her legendary collaborations, Bette Davis carved a niche for herself with a remarkable intensity that few could match. Think back to those moments when you discovered Bette Davis. Was it the thrill of witnessing her transformation in All About Eve or the poignancy of her performances in Now, Voyager? Maybe it was her undeniable chemistry with co-stars like Humphrey Bogart or the way she effortlessly portrayed strong, complex women unafraid to break the mold. Those memories, like fragments of a cherished past, connect us to a time when cinema held us in its spell. Now, as we delve into some lesser-known facts about Bette Davis, prepare to be captivated once again. These tidbits peel back the curtain on the woman behind the characters, revealing a depth that adds new layers to her legacy. So, let's journey beyond the familiar and explore the nuances of an icon who defied expectations and left an indelible mark on the silver screen. Bette Davis, the iconic Hollywood actress, wielded her formidable talent not only on screen but also as a determined matriarch. While her public image exuded power and elegance, a significant portion of her wealth discreetly flowed towards her mother and three children. Beyond the glitz and glamour, Davis took her responsibilities seriously, ensuring her family's financial stability remained a steadfast priority. Behind closed doors, Davis faced the dichotomy of her roles. Simultaneously serving as president of a prominent organization, she harbored a private anger that fueled her advocacy efforts. The vigor with which she protested contrasted with her public demeanor, reflecting a complexity that added depth to her legacy. Her passionate activism whispered of a fierce determination to effect change, all while maintaining a polished exterior. Davis' connection with Pepsi, as the widow of the company's CEO, added another layer to her narrative. Joan Crawford's unexpected affiliation with Pepsi might be better known, but Davis had her stake in the soft drink empire. This often overshadowed facet of her life, though less explored, unveils a multifaceted persona. The stories of Davis and her involvement with Pepsi intertwine with Hollywood lore, forging a unique intersection between cinema and commerce. In the grand tapestry of Hollywood history, Bette Davis emerges as an enigmatic figure whose financial obligations, activism, and associations reflect a life lived beyond the silver screen. Her legacy is a testament to her ability to navigate the complex interplay of personal responsibilities, public image, and behind-the-scenes Refusing the scenes to embrace a name that lacked allure, Bette Davis, the indomitable Hollywood icon, left an indelible mark on the silver screen. She famously rejected the mundane, opting for a moniker that echoed with charisma and potential. Her decision illuminated her steadfast determination to ascend the ranks of stardom. When Bette Davis passed away in 1989, her legacy was not confined to her cinematic achievements alone. Reports suggest her estate bore a valuation between substantial figures, testifying to the enduring impact she left on both the entertainment industry and the realm of business. Her shrewdness extended beyond the camera's lens. In the annals of Hollywood history, Bette Davis emerges as a luminary who defied conventions, embodying the spirit of resilience and self-assuredness. Her ability to wield her name as both an emblem of distinction and a symbol of financial acumen cements her position as an enigmatic force, forever etched in Bet the fabric Davis, of show Hollywood lore. legend's unforeseen triumph Bette Davis, an indelible icon of the silver screen, emerged triumphant despite early doubters. Contrary to predictions that shed falter in the world of acting, Davis not only conquered Hollywood but reshaped its very essence. The actress, renowned for her fierce determination and unmatched talent, transcended expectations and etched her legacy into the annals of cinema history. In a turn of events that highlighted her self-assured nature, Davis astutely recognized the power of her choices. When offered the role of fiery pianist Sandra Kovac in The Great Lie, she opted instead for the less conspicuous role of Maggie Patterson. 
Her keen instinct led her to recommend her close confidante, Mary Astor, for the showier part. Davis believed that elevating Astor's career was paramount, given the actress' tumultuous past, which included a bitter custody battle in 1936. Astor's subsequent victory at the Oscars for Best Supporting Actress was a testament to Davis' shrewd judgment and loyalty. Further attesting to Davis' tenacity, she found her image immortalized on a 42C-US commemorative postage stamp as part of the Legends of Hollywood series, released on September 18, 2008. This honor underscored her lasting impact on both the film industry and American popular culture, solidifying her status as an enduring icon. That Davis journey, from defying skeptics to gracing postage stamps, is a testament to her unwavering resolve and exceptional talents. In the face of doubt, she harnessed her inner strength and vision to transform herself into a cinematic force, forever etching her name in the pantheon of Hollywood greats. Bette Davis, the indomitable Hollywood icon, captivated audiences for decades with her compelling performances an unapologetic spirit. While her career sparkled on screen, she privately navigated intriguing twists that only deepened her enigma. Among the most intriguing phases of her life was what she referred to as her macabre period, a three-decade stretch defined by Davis' unapologetically dark fascination. This period saw her embracing unconventional roles that delved into the realms of horror and psychological tension, firmly cementing her as a multifaceted actress. With this bold shift, Davis not only showcased her versatility, but also left an enduring mark on the cinematic landscape. However, it wasn't just her on-screen choices that contributed to Davis' enigmatic aura. She authored a lurid memoir about her relationship with her mother, shedding light on the complex dynamics that shaped her. This intimate narrative painted a vivid portrait of her upbringing, adding layers to her public persona and allowing fans a glimpse into the woman behind the legend. One of Davis' most notable feats was her acquisition of the Best Actress Oscar for her mesmerizing performance in Jezebel. The accolade came with a hefty price tag of $578,000, a testament to her exceptional talent and the industry's recognition of her influence. Interestingly, Davis eventually gifted the coveted Oscar to the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, a decision that echoed her commitment to the craft itself rather than material possessions. Bette Davis, with her indelible mark on cinema, reminds us that true legends are never one-dimensional. Her macabre period, her candid memoir, and her priceless Oscar underscore a life marked by complexity and depth, a legacy that continues to captivate and intrigue. In August 1982, Bette Davis granted an interview to Playboy magazine revealing a youthful escapade that stirred intrigue. She disclosed that she had once posed nude for an artist, who meticulously carved a statue capturing her essence. This artwork, featuring four dancing nymphs, found its place in the heart of Boston, Massachusetts. However, after the interview's publication, Bostonians embarked on a futile search for the celebrated statue. The statue's whereabouts remained shrouded in mystery until it emerged in the possession of a private collector in Massachusetts. A captivating tale of a hidden artistic relic linked to the enigmatic star. This revelation further enhances the mystique surrounding Bette Davis, who embarked on her Hollywood journey as a contract player at Universal. The trajectory of her career eventually led her to embody Jane Hudson in the hauntingly memorable film Whatever Happened to Baby Jane a role that stands as a testament to her enduring impact. Ranked at 44, the portrayal of Jane Hudson solidifies Davis' legacy as a formidable actress who left an indelible mark on cinematic history. Bette Davis' multifaceted career, from early artistic ventures to iconic film roles, continues to fascinate and inspire, demonstrating her lasting influence on both the art of cinema and the public's imagination. An actress of substance whose allure remains timeless. Bette Davis, a candid look at her complex relationship with Faye Dunaway Bette Davis, the iconic Hollywood star known for her powerful performances and distinctive voice, shared a remarkable connection with fellow actress Faye Dunaway. Both women achieved renown for their villainous roles, a distinction only the two of them held. 
While Davis captivated audiences with her portrayal of formidable characters, such as the scheming Regina Giddens in The Little Foxes and the manipulative baby Jane Hudson in Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, Dunaway left an indelible mark as the chilling Joan Crawford in Mommy Dearest and the conniving Evelyn Mulray in Chinatown. Davis' own experience with the dynamics of Hollywood rivalry gained renewed attention following the success of the hit single Bet Davis Eyes, a song that celebrated her captivating allure. In an intriguing turn of events, Davis responded by penning letters to the song's co-writer, Donna Weiss, expressing her appreciation for the track and her amusement at its catchy lyrics. But the spotlight on Davis' relationships didn't end there. The enigmatic enmity between Davis and Crawford, which simmered beneath the surface for years, became the focus of scrutiny. After Crawford's passing in 1977, Davis finally spoke candidly about their contentious interactions. A decade later, during a 1987 interview with Bryant Gumbel, Davis shed light on the evolution of their feud. Davis revealed that Crawford had, surprisingly, been a consummate professional on set, a far cry from the animosity that later brewed between them. Davis contended that the fracture occurred after Crawford actively campaigned against her, preventing her from securing what would have been her third Oscar. Despite the bitterness, Davis maintained her respect for Crawford's achievements, acknowledging her transformation from humble origins to Hollywood stardom. In another candid conversation, this time with Barbara Walters in the same year, Davis disclosed her personal emotional turmoil in response to Crawford's actions. She admitted feeling hurt and angry emotions that undoubtedly colored their interactions. Yet, even in her candor, Davis upheld her commitment to recognizing Crawford's accomplishments, emphasizing the significance of her journey from her modest beginnings. Bet Davis, a luminary of the silver screen, not only left an indelible mark on cinema but also navigated complex relationships within the industry. Her dichotomous rapport with Faye Dunaway and her eventual candid reflections on the feud with Joan Crawford offer a glimpse into the intricate tapestry of Hollywood's golden era. As we bid adieu to this enchanting cinematic journey, I invite you to take a moment, a moment to gaze back through the sepia-tinged corridors of time where the luminescent aura of Bette Davis continues to dance upon the silver screen of our memories. A tapestry woven with passion, grit, and a fire that defied the norms of her era, Bette's performances have carved indelible imprints upon our hearts. Perhaps it's a stolen glance from now, Voyager that lingers, a whispered line from All About Eve that echoes, or the fierce determination of Jezebel that still ignites a spark within. These cinematic treasures are more than mere scenes. They are the reflections of a woman who dared to be unapologetically authentic, who wielded her craft like a magician, conjuring emotions that stirred souls and mirrored the complexities of existence. In the quietude of this moment, as the curtain falls on our dialogue, I encourage you to share your treasured pieces of the Bette Davis mosaic. Let your voice resonate among the echoes of her performances, each memory an ode to the power of storytelling that transcends time. Bette Davis' indomitable spirit and her contribution to the art of entertainment are eternal beacons, guiding us through the annals of celluloid history. Your time and interest in her legacy are deeply cherished. Let us continue to celebrate, to reminisce, and to keep her luminosity alive, as the reel of her influence continues to spin through generations. With profound gratitude for joining this tribute to a remarkable icon, I extend my sincere appreciation for your presence here. Your memories, thoughts, and reflections are the threads that weave the fabric of a shared appreciation for the magic of Bette Davis. Until we meet again on the cinematic crossroads of time, stay captivated by the splendor of storytelling.